Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Well, today I have another product review for you. Today I want to talk about Brainworks Stereo Maker. It's a pretty simple plugin that basically does one simple thing. It basically turns your mono track into a stereo track. So for those of you that want to record one take of an acoustic guitar and you want it to sound like it's across the whole stereo field, this is the plugin that'll do that for you. It's $129 on Brainworks website. And so what I wanted to do today is just uh, give you an overview of what it does so you can see it before uh, you download it. And actually, you can download a 14-day trial. I recommend doing that. So let's take a look at it. What I have is um, a acoustic guitar riff, if you will. It's, uh, in, it's in mono. Here you go. Okay, so it's right in the middle in mono. What I do, this is a stereo plugin, so I've got this going to bus one here where I have the uh, stereo maker on that channel. If you put stereo maker on this um, mono channel, it wouldn't work. You need a stereo channel, at least in Studio One, you need to do that. It's a pretty simple plugin, as I said. So let's just go over the, the, cap the, the functions here. So you've got, you've got a tone button. And that, what that does is, and I'll, I'll demonstrate it, it allows you to slice out frequencies, um, basically en enhance a certain frequency depending on how you want the, the, the piece to fit in your mix. So it's, it, it allows you to shape the tone of the track, if you will. Uh, then you've got high damp, which basically uh, allows you to roll off uh, some of the high end, and I'll, we'll go through that. It's got a mono frequency. You use this to tighten up the phase image in the bass range. So if you've got, uh, you know, the bassy part of of your track, you use this to tighten that up. And you've got your stereo expansion knob here, and this is where the magic happens. This is where you actually expand the uh, the signal across the, the, the space, stereo space. Then you've got your pan tilt. You can either pan or tilt, two different modes. And you use this to basically make sure that the stereo image is adjusted correctly so it's not leaning towards one side or the other. This allows you to correct that. On the bottom here you have an output gain so you can pull back or, or uh, increase the, um, the gain post processing. You've got uh, left and right peak and left and right RMS meters here. You've got a balance meter that shows you where you are as far as how the signal is balanced. And then you've got a correlation meter and what the manual says is you need to keep this in the green. Really, with this plugin, you need you need to use your ears um, to really uh, to hear what it sounds like. So let's start this off in mono. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the stereo field, and then we'll we'll adjust the tone to to give it uh, the tone that we want. So here we go. See there, as I was using the stereo expansion, I was watching this meter here, the correlation meter, and I didn't, I don't want to go past the point where it starts to go into the red. You want to make sure it stays in the green at all times. So that's basically how you use that meter. So now let's, uh, now that we have pretty much uh, the space that we want, let's uh, play with the tone, tone mod, the tone knob here, and you'll see what that does. <laughs>
Okay, so how do I describe that one? If you have headphones on, you can really hear it. The actual main punch of the track moves backwards and forwards in the stereo image by using that dial. That's the best way I can explain it. Uh, at least that's what it sounds like to me. So it's actually pretty cool. You can sort of like place it in the mix, which is pretty powerful. Okay. So let's take a look at the tilt. I think I like it right around here, which I guess is about, uh, uh, probably about 150 or 200 hertz, maybe something like that. So that's where I like it right there. Now let's play with the tilt and the pan so you can see how that works. We'll start with the tilt first. So if you're watching this meter, you could see it moving to the left and moving to the right. So let's A, B it now. Now that I've got it dialed into where I want it, uh, let's A, B it and you can hear the difference. Pretty cool plugin, gotta tell you. Doesn't quite it doesn't give you that effect as if you were to play this guitar part twice and pan it left, hard left, and hard right. It's not gonna give you that type of panning, but certainly it takes a mono sound and moves it stereo. But here's the other cool thing that it does. So those of you who live by the the adage mix and mono and listen in stereo, which uh, I've been doing a lot more of lately, you will retain the mono information even with this plugin on so i'll give you that example what i'm going to do is here i'm going to toggle mono and stereo right here on on the main bus here Pretty cool. They have a nice, pretty simple manual on their website. It's not a detailed manual because it's a pretty simple plugin. You can actually download that if you want to read more about how it works. Let's just play with the gain here. Minus 12. So it's, if you know if there's any gain loss, you can you can make it up there. It does have some presets for drums, bass, uh, snare, uh, room mic, rock guitar, female male voice, piano, hi hat, etc. And you can set some of your own. Um, so it does have some presets. It has a bypass function if you don't want to use the your DAW's bypass function. And that's pretty much it. Pretty simple plugin. Trick to it is, is again, use this correlation meter to make sure you're in the green when you're adjusting the stereo expansion so you don't have your two sides out of phase. So that's the Brainworks Stereo Maker. I hope this was helpful. Again, you can download a trial on their website, 14-day trial. Try it out. I think I'm going to buy it. <laughs> so uh, thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful. Please like, comment, subscribe, and have a great day.